who reportedly turned down a better offer for Fields. Courtney Corrin writing on ESPN, the Bears had an additional offer with stronger draft capital from a team with an established starter per source, but chose to send Fields to Pittsburgh with the hopes of putting the 25-year-old in a position to continue his development, first as a backup to Wilson and eventually as a starter. Your reaction, bro? Well, what was better? Fifth round, sixth round that's not conditional where it could get better? Like straight six-round pick? I mean, if it was that close, then I think they did the right thing because you send a message to players, or at least you theoretically do, mm -hmm. that, hey, we, we care about our players and their future. Because there's already the feeling that you did not do right by Justin Fields because you didn't put – players around him that could help him win. And he had two head coaches, two offensive coordinators. So you may not have given him a chance in some people's eyes. So mm -hmm. now you do this. Hey, we're looking out for him. If it significantly was better, which I doubt, but let's say somebody's offering a third round pick, then, they, then, then that's you got to do correct. You got to do. You got to so, do what's best for your team regardless. So, so I agree with that. So I might. So this is the scenario I painted to you before the show, Wilds, because what they got was a sixth. In a you know not this year's draft, next year's draft that could be a four. Right. If he plays more than half the games, let's say Buffalo called because we know Buffalo wanted a backup quarterback because they signed Mitch Trubisky inexplicably to more than the league minimum. But set that aside. Mm -hmm. Say Buffalo called and said we'll give you our fifth round pick this year for Justin Fields. I don't think it's bad business for Chicago to say. Yeah, we're not doing it. it, it the, the gap between the, the yeah. value on those yep. is not enough, given the fact he is clearly very popular in the locker room. And I understand it's business, not personal. When people talk about the Bears doing Justin Fields wrong, they I, sometimes that stuff bothers me. In this specific case, and I thought Danny, when he was on on Friday, made a good point. When you look at the blow-by-blow blow of it, year one, Justin, you're not going to play Andy Dalton is. Andy Dalton gets dinged. He's all of a sudden starting week right. three. Year two, we want to be the worst team in the league. We're going to trade Roquan Smith. We're going to tra we're going to take all our dead cap right now, which I thought was the long-term smart thing for the team. Brutal for the player, mm -hmm. right? And then right. year three, all of a sudden, it's like, okay, we're kind of ready to be good, but we're also changing the offense on the fly. Those things, I understand why they would be like, you know what? He handled himself aside from one press conference, right? His teammates like him. Yep. Let's not send him somewhere where he has no chance of being the starter right. unless – you know, like to Bruce's point, the return is so right. good, we have to put business ahead of it. Right. And so this part makes sense to me in a way that I, I know there had been some reporting like, oh, they had a two or a three offered to them. If they did, they turned that down back when they thought they were still going to be able to get that. Not right. because they were – they didn't that, have – That wasn't available now. Exactly right. 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 That, that offer that. was gone right. when they took this one and not presented like, well, they could have taken a three this week and instead they right. took this. That I do not believe at all. Okay. Meanwhile, Caleb to the Bears basically done. Uh, now minus 4,000 to be in Chicago. Other new faces in the Windy City, Keenan Allen and DeAndre Swift. Nick, does Caleb make the Bears a dark horse playoff team? No question, yes. But let me first say this real quick. You know, I'm not a professional investment broker, and I don't give investment advice. But if it, minus 4,000 would mean you get 2.5% return on your money in six weeks. That's a great – that's a great – that's better than any stock you're going to get, America, if you can put that. Because it is a 100% chance okay. he is drafted by the Chicago Bears, oh, yeah. number one. And so minus 4,000, you bet 4,000, make 100 bucks. Can't do that guaranteed in the market. But now to the point. Uh the Bears are better than people think, and they were last year. And they have since added things. So the Bears, the Luke, or I'm sorry, uh, Iberflus would tell you his defense can't function unless it has at least one A-level pass rusher to then have everything rotate off the back end of it. So how did the Bears look once they added Montez Sweat, who is not, that's not adding prime Von Miller, right. but it's adding a good player. Good. All of a sudden, they were fine. It's not like they were great. They were fine. They outscored their opponents. They had top 10 points per game and opponents yards per game defense. They have now added to DJ Moore, who with quarterbacking that evidently was only worth a sixth round pick, did this last year. Keenan Allen and Keenan did that in only 13 games. Now I think Keenan is going to be less productive because of He's his age, right. but you then add the fact that in addition to Caleb Brew, they are going to, with the ninth pick of the draft, either be able to add Roma Dunze, Brock Bowers, 
with the second tackle off the board or the first or second defensive player of any position off the board. And they added Swift. So I expect the 7-10 and 10 Bears with better quarterbacking, more talent, not the dead cap that had been weighing down the last two years, to be a 10 or 11 win team. Ooh. So I expect them to make the playoffs. All right, so you, you came on strong at the end saying they're going to make the playoffs because this question, I think Nick hacked your computer Why? and threw Dark Horse in there. Oh, no. Because when we, when we talked about it on the phone call Straight this up. morning, it was, are they no, making the I playoffs? I would pick them to make the playoffs okay. as of now. So they're, yes, cause they're dark a horse. dark horse. I don't believe in dark sure. horse nonsense. In the like hunt? Really. Will yeah. they be in the no, I'm not in the hunt. Are they business? making the playoffs? Yeah, yeah they'll yes. be in the hunt. But sure. here's the thing. Yeah. I think Detroit and Green Bay are definitely making the playoffs. And that, so that's two in that division. They're in. So you, I think you like those teams, too, if I remember Nick's tears. The, the, I think both of them were the pretty high. Yeah, the, but so the Bears, I think the Bears were on the, I mean, the Bears were quite high as they well. They were high. The so Bears we're going to have three, I, I don't think you're saying three from that division, but I think, I still think Dallas and Philly, I know I don't have like a strange team in here, but Atlanta I got. That's, uh, and then San Francisco and the Rams. So you I, have the same playoffs as last year with Baker out and the Falcons in. That's not going to happen. Well, it's just we'll, not going to be we'll, the same. We will see. I mean, but that's the, the – it's just not – it's. Uh, you every, yelled at me the, when I didn't think B. John Robinson would be rookie of the year. Okay. So, right, so, the, I mean, I, I'm just saying. The, I'm just saying. I, the, so. And so I just think that if you – let me put it a different way, Brew. Because – Go ahead. Sorry. I, no, I'm I'll just saying. Finish. Which one's not making it? Detroit or the, Green well, They could have three because the NFC is kind of weak. But I think, I think I, those two are I, al- I almost think you're looking at it from the wrong direction, which is – Aside from the NFC South, which we think, you know what I mean, there's only could have, have a division, one. right? But no. you, Atlanta what, and Tampa. Could oh, sneak no, in. what I'm oh, let me ask it a different way. Let's just say Atlanta's in. If another NFC team that missed the playoffs last year is going to make it, which most years there's at least two new yeah. per conference, are the Bears not the best bet? The options would be Washington or the Giants. Mm-hmm. The the Bears uh, and the fourth NFC North team. Oh the who am I? Oh, the Vikings. The Vikings. The Vi- Vikings, yeah, who don't, don't have a have quarterback, quarterback right now. Yeah. We said the NFC New South, Orleans. we said New Orleans, Carolina, Atlanta, and then Seattle or Arizona. Like some people might say Seattle, they got a new head coach. If you think there's going to be a bounce back year from Kyler, I get it. Uh, Look, my Kyler. point is, I think, I think the Bears are the best bet. Dark Horse is the right word. Dark Horse Because I don't think Caleb's going to be C.J. Stroud. Now, I think Caleb will be good eventually, and, but I think this year he'll show promise. He'll make us say, yeah, that was the right pick. But I don't think he's coming in like CJ. So, but CJ, I I think you even if you're right on that, CJ had to be CJ because that Texans team was uh, earned the number two pick on their own volition. Yeah. That Texans team was was awful the year before. They were a three win team. No, I get the, it. But you're but, saying because they were bad, he had to be so good. No, no, I'm giving CJ credit. My point is, if we if the Bears were the typical number one pick team, we would expect usually about a three-win improvement if they draft the right quarterback. My point is a three-win improvement for the Bears is 10 because they won seven games bad. last year. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll buy that. We'll Thank you. I might, I might you buy that. So you yeah. really? I might buy it. It's yeah. a good argument. It's a, Who'd you pick to win the it's NFC a good last team. year? Oh, my gosh, bro. Who'd you I'm pick to win the NFC last year? And they made the playoffs, they, the short. Eagles. <laughs> Hey, Short of the turnovers, we were heading also, in the right Kirk direction. Also, Kirk body Achilles. betrayed him. Yeah, Everyone knows betrayed him. And he's I got back, back now. Uh, Much Kyrie. like mine, evidently. <laughs> Most skilled Kyrie. player ever. According to Dame Lillard, next on FS1 and the Fox Sports Channel on SiriusXM. I think he was just giving a compliment. <laughs>